Of my Erica Campbell friends. and Maybe daughter Krista tell dating and be sex before marriage. We're not, Check we this out. This is a very interesting conversation. Do so. We can't. We can't. Well, I'm not advertising your singleness online. I'm just saying that you are single. That's not. I'm what? Not I don't want to get any weird DMs later. See how I'm trying to help the girl. I want to meet you. I don't want to meet nobody on the internet. I want to like. Be no, no one's a, I want to be holding phone. books going to class and then I bump into my drop on my books and then he helps me pick it up and I look up and we make eye contact. Or, 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 or I want to be like, I don't know. There's a bunch of ways. That was just the first one that popped in my head. Um, mm, mm, mm. Krista, you got to get out of the I movies. Think more meet cute. You got to get meet cute? That's what they're called. Like in rom com, it's called a meet cute. I want to meet cute. I don't want to meet nobody online. So you want to meet him, like bump into him, like he open the elevator and you walk in. Yes! You know, something like that. Why can't you just be like in class? Well, I go to an old girl's school, so that's never going to happen there. Morehouse is next door. Clark is next door. That's true. And it's Atlanta. But, but it's Atlanta, so. True. Like, like, we don't ever know. <laughs> I mean, God bless you, Atlanta, but. Don't Woo. You never know. It's a little rough out these streets. The questions, the questions y'all have to ask. Are you? Do you? Have you? What are you into? <laughs> what is your preference? I'm not. I will not be. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a lot, Lord. No, thank you. We dealing with the hey, sassy man apocalypse. The what? The sassy man apocalypse. The sassy man apocalypse. <laughs> the sassy you. man apocalypse. You like, for real. They do. Oh, give me no flowers. You want a diamond necklace, too? <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we doing? Crystal Louise. Like, what are we doing? I'm sorry. Y'all, I'm trying to help with dating, but it's just so different. I don't... <laughs> Desire. <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus. <sighs> Wait, you missed the whole story? Okay, so here's the story. We're talking about dating musicians... There are some. I'm happily married to a musician. Twenty three years. I have had. We've weathered storms. Yeah. And blah 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 blah. We're still here. We still love each other. I I don't know if I want her to start there. I mean, can we start with somebody that's a medical student? But I don't want to be bored when you're telling me about your day. Why do you I have to be bored if they're telling who, you? Like maybe you don't have to also be an artist, or maybe not. You just some. I don't know. Something creative. Christy, you are. <laughs> You, we enjoy being pursued. Absolutely. Is that okay? That's okay. I don't even. I won't say. I, I won't initiate the per, said pursuit. But I don't so think listen, there's anything so wrong I don't think with that's that terrible. For chasing. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Right. So I'm I've definitely. But... I've definitely told guys that I thought they were cute. I've, you know. Yeah. I've definitely done that in my life. Like, oh, all right. How are you? What's your name? I've done that before. Yeah. But I'm not gonna chase you. Yeah. I'm gonna just let you know that I'm interested, and then and it's then on see what you. you do. But I think so many people are afraid of. So many people are afraid of getting hurt. Like, he'll say yes or he'll say no. Yeah. I don't know. But that's no okay. just... No, I know it's... I know. I know it's not the end of the world. I'm really different, I think. I don't know. I need you to take a little bit of your mama. You like me, fine. You don't. Cool. I'm moving on. And even if I was crazy about you, I'm going to cry for about a good two weeks. And then I'm moving on. We don't linger. Because listen, Campbell woman, we don't linger. We don't linger, we don't what if, we don't ask, uh-uh. You yes. don't owe me no closure, you don't owe me no excuses. You showed me what you wanted to do, I'm going to follow your actions. Why did you leave me? Please tell me why. Well, I would never say why. Can y'all stop doing that, please? He but left because he wanted my, to leave. I, I'll definitely go for the okie doke for a good two times, and then, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. So, if the actions and the words don't match, because all guys can give great words, great text message, good morning, beautiful, no, how are you, like, have a good night, text like, me, all those. Why would you call me if he didn't mean it? Because he's lying. Because he wants to get your attention. That's all. That's all. And he want to touch that. <laughs> Which he never did, so. He didn't, you, didn't no, never, you didn't let no, you didn't let That was never on the table, so that's why it's like, I'm No not, squeezes? No. We, first of all, first of all, first of all, we, the only time we saw each other was at church. Now, I'm talking about college. Who have, who have I talked to in college? Uh, that's what I want to know. Nobody. Nobody. That's what we're talking about. That's this is the dilemma. Y'all think she's telling me the truth? Why would I lie? That's right. That's right. Tell me the truth, my sweet girl. That's just not <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
Yeah, y'all yeah, don't know. She's 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 gonna get into it. She's gonna ask me all the questions exactly how I don't want to hear her ask ask them. What you mean about having sex? Can you please not do this? Right okay, now? okay, okay. Please save it for marriage, please. I just feel. Don't save it for carrots. Marriage. Carrots. <laughs> But also, okay, is this, I don't know if I should say this. What? <laughs> what? I just, you wouldn't buy a dress without trying it on first, would you? You mean you want a boy to test drive your TT before you get married? No, before he says, no, the death was part? What if we get married and then it's horrible? And what if he, then he treat your vagina like a porta potty? He come in and then he leave. He just take a dump and leave and he gone. Well, obviously, there'll be a long level of commitment beforehand, maybe an engagement. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, Jesus. A couple Jesus. months into said engagement. I'm sorry, Jesus. She's changing your rules for cultural reasons. <sighs> thou, uh, thou shall not as thou shall not. You're right. He didn't create a new book and said, except in 2024. I just... Do you trust God? Yes. <laughs> Keisha but... said I just passed out. <laughs> Keisha, me too. But I mean, I don't so think listen, listen, listen. God when it comes to... Oh, absolutely. Baby, God is in all of it. Mm, I just feel like God like anoint me. No! Ah! 23 years, baby. Please. She's please, about to die. Please, <laughs> please stop. Right now. No, 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 no. No, but really, when when you are really oh, wow. in, when you are really in tune, like the you'll you'll know. Yeah. I'm telling you, you'll know. You'll know. And you have to make sure that you don't move God out of the way because God don't understand this part. He understands everything cre cre concerning you. He created sex. He created relationship. He created all the things. And he knows the beauty of it. So when you allow God to lead and guide you and not be led by your hormones or what people are saying or the fear that it might because it's really fear what if it's what if we get married and it's not good what if we get married and it's not right I understand yeah. that I, I get that but at the same time it doesn't then how many test drives you gonna test drive well that's the thing this is this is post engagement no 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 no. are you married did you say what did you say to the Lord Lord I commit myself to you you're right I give what myself away me? wasn't about a man. I give myself away so you could use me was not. It was to the Lord. Give myself away. See, mom. people are using it for the Best wrong reason. Mom. Fill me up. Ah! wasn't about a guy. That was about ah! the Holy Ghost. Till oh, I overflow. Y'all be using these songs for the wrong reasons. You have to say, I do first. <laughs> you know what I mean? He got to stand before everybody and say, this is who I want, all I want for the rest of my life. All right, then it could go down, but before then, for you, with <laughs> Erica, please. Y'all want me to lie? You didn't have to sing "Fill Me Up." That was unnecessary. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> church girls be at church looking at the music, go. Uh -uh. <laughs> Mom, please. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> Somebody told me I seen them. They told me about a meme. <laughs> it said. <laughs> Which girls in the church are the wildest? You know what they said in the out in the comments? Mm. They said altos. <laughs> I was devastated. I'm an alto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're just having real conversations with Krista. Real talk. Real talk about real life. I've been blushing. You just can't see it because I'm a little chocolate. <laughs> no, we can see. It's red. We can see. <laughs> Y'all think I want her to be unprepared? I just want her to at least have this knowledge. So when you have conversations about other things, you don't think there's this part of my life that God does not know or not understand, or I have to go somewhere else to get the conversation. Like if you keep it 100, I know a lot of girls that when they get, you know, if they grew up church girls and they tell you, don't, 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 don't. Mm -hmm. You never have conversations about your body or your sexuality or how you look or feeling comfortable in your own sexuality and not thinking it's nasty. So you don't talk about it with somebody that is, Feel with the Holy Ghost, happily married, but also happy sexually, right? And so you don't have those conversations. So then who you go to? Homegirl. Homegirl or homeboy. Mm -hmm. Or you watch porn or you know what I'm saying? Or you yeah. end up doing these things that you feel like is going to teach you. But I'm telling you, there's nothing more beautiful than being married and exploring each other, mm -hmm. right? But within the sanctity of we both want this for each other, right? Not yeah. let me, you know, because most of the time, if it's pre-marriage, you're trying to please them. You're trying to, I need to impress him. I need to be better than everybody else you've been with. It's always going to be somebody that was a little more, that did a little more. So it has to be something. So you don't wanna, that's, that, 
Is that why they say wait so that you don't have like all these pre-existing like? And you have to compare. Yes. Comparisons. You have to. You get married, and I love. I, I love this guy. I love this guy. But, but that so, dude, when so, I was seventeen, blew my mind. And that guy, twenty-two. And that guy, you know what I mean. So then yeah. you get married, and then you have to work past getting deliverance from that. Because mm -hmm. I don't want to compare. And you may be new, and you may be developing, and expecting this big thing on your marriage night, and yeah. then. You didn't develop it together, but you have all this comparison. If you don't get delivered from that and you put all those other things in your mind and in your spirit, it just complicates things. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that when people say don't, it's because they're trying to keep you from something. They're trying to protect you from, from how the enemy is. will manipulate the beauty of what I don't God know, I has think, for you. I Google was telling me and Lay and I about soul ties like when we were first, like, we was like 15, 16. What did Auntie Google say? Cause she just talked about soul ties, but she didn't say anything crazy. So we're still little. But <sighs> yes, we teach. We have healthy conversations. We do. Listen, y'all, she gonna go back to college. I have to make sure that she got some information. Cause when the enemy come knocking on that door, when the boys want to do this, please, they will, Krista. That's what they want to do. Can you? You don't have to. You don't have to show them. They know. Okay. They know. <laughs> Deep smoke, I see. You. She's, trying to help, she's trying to help my oh girl my out. <laughs> no, I want you to really just, I want you to be equipped with the information. Yeah. When it comes, I want something to come back to your mind. Say, I remember this conversation. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't. You know what I'm saying? And then be honest. Like, I'm not saying that you won't feel it. You will. I'm not saying that you won't want it. You will. But mm -hmm. realize that doing it God's way gets God's results. Does that mean you all have a problem-free life and nothing will go wrong? Mm -hmm. Never, never, never. But mm -hmm. it means that, God, I tried my best to honor you. You know what I mean? There's a blessing in obedience. Period. We know that. There is a blessing yeah, in saying... Yeah, that. Like, I want my marriage to be blessed and for... I want your marriage to be blessed. Yeah. But also, there's I'm, I'm there's preparing examples. My, I'm preparing my speech for your reception. I think me and Auntie Tina are going to do it together. Uh, <laughs> I don't want it. I don't want it immediately. Why? It's uh, going to be good. It's going to be encouraging. I don't know. No, I think that more people should talk with young people about sex and sexuality and God in the center and what that means and how the enemy is manipulated so much that we don't have the conversation. You know what I mean? And it's not just about being good. It's about the beauty. It's about what it does, how your souls come together and all those things. Yeah. I just think it's really important because if the enemy can minimize it and make it unimportant, then you'll treat it frivolous. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And there's so many things that we didn't teach why. We just said don't. Don't do it. And then it's right? like, and then yeah, it's like, like why? Right. So if you teach why, yeah. then there, you have more reasons to say, okay. I mean, it wasn't much of a problem with me for the majority of my life because I was so insecure and I never thought anyone would like me, period. Let alone. It's crazy. So it was never really an issue for me. And I think now that... I'm kind of starting to build my confidence back up, back up, and starting to like you know see the beauty of myself, and you know just the way I want to dress, and not be afraid, and not try to hide my stomach or hide whatever. Um, I don't know. I think it's like dangerous because it can become a form of validation. Absolutely. And not even sex. For just, sure. Not just sex, but just like talking to guys. Period. Right. Um, and I have to get out of that first. I because think girls think before. that too. I, something's wrong with me because no one's talking to me. Yeah. And then you, and also I have gorgeous friends who are very confident and know how to talk to guys and do whatever so it's like and still dang, what's wrong with me no but then yeah. there are some very beautiful very talented very single women true it's not about how you look it's about but I'm connection because daddy they, talks about that all the time and because i you know sometimes i ask why like beyond how i look why mm -hmm. he was like i just love talking to you yeah i had a good time hanging out with you he was like i didn't feel pressure i didn't feel like you were fussing at me all the time mm -hmm. i didn't feel like you were you know requiring things but i didn't ask one to pay for it nothing and y'all was dead broke when we started dating really yeah i didn't ask i don't get, i get my own nails done what mm -hmm. and Honestly, i think my like, independence that, was very i never liked that like oh if he can't do this for me he can't, i don't want to be waiting because he I'm i think my about, i think like, my independence was attractive that i paid my own car note i paid my own rent yeah. i fed myself and then it's like i don't think you're very smart financially if you just are willing to just throw hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars at me to impress me if i'm seeing myself as a person who i want to build a life with you i want to know that you're responsible and responsible with money don't pay for my nails every two weeks put that money up right. don't pay for my hair put that money up we don't right. have to go to a fancy restaurant every single week yes mm -hmm. valentine's day my birthday okay i'll keep mm -hmm. that our anniversary cool yeah but it doesn't have to be every like that's that that doesn't equal well, a lot of people do that for the, for the ground 
that's true but i also think because of the way i grew up like money doesn't that's not impre- you're not impressing me like right. you know that just makes me feel like you just are throwing it throwing money at me and that that really is what saved me yeah. so i was working at a pager company and this guy was really cute and he would come in and get his pager serviced and he was always telling me he was going to take me shopping like all the time back in the day i mean do i want to experience store- being splurged on Maybe once in my lifetime, but I don't want to settle with said splurger. <laughs> with said splurger. No, but he would say that. But I knew, uh, first of all, he was, he, was a, he was a street pharmacist. And so, <laughs> <laughs> I knew he had... Mom, you was talking to it. Oh. No, I worked at the pager company. He was coming to get his... Oh. He was he coming was to get his... Yeah, he was like, I'm going to take, take you out, out and I'll get this for you. And I was like, yeah, because you got it to throw away. Not because yeah. I'm so valuable. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, just like, think I'm no. cute. Chris does. You know what he said? What? He was like, you so wholesome. Like, I will keep you on a shelf like milk. Like, you like milk. Like, you, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment. Ah! You're like milk.